Um, we're here at the Glen Oro Farm. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you guys this amazing winterized tent, but it's literally the most luxurious glamping that I'm ever going to do ever in my whole life. Seriously. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So I think the best thing to do is just start with a room tour so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and where we're staying. So just come follow me. Follow me. This is where a lot of our heat is coming from. So it's super warm in this area. Obviously, Luca is going to be doing a lot of the uh, tending to the stove fire because <laughs> that's his job as the man of the tent. So this is a lot of the heat source. It's so nice and warm just coming out from outside. I'm like loving this area right now. This is the kitchenette area. I absolutely love like all this lighting like look how it goes up like this it's just so aesthetic I can't wait to see what this place looks like at night and here is the table where Luke and I will be having some dinner and drinking some wine and playing a couple of board games because we brought some board games to play and then here is the beautiful bed which guys like we're camping. This is our bed. Like, how crazy. We're literally in a tent, and this is what I get to sleep in. And it's winter. It's just crazy. This is an electric blanket, so there's just no way that we're gonna be cold tonight. And that's a heater over there, so I think we're gonna be okay. So I'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Shower. You should look how everything is like wooden. It's just so like aesthetic. And have you guys ever been in a tent with a couch? <laughs> now I can say I have. <laughs> so yeah, that is the official tent room tour. So I'm really excited to film here and just explore the area because there's actually some horses that are on the property here and um, I'm so excited just to be here for the next couple of days so I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. So the games that we brought, snakes and ladders which this brings me back to my childhood. Did any of you guys ever play this? Luca never played this but I feel like everybody in my school and in my grade played this. So comment if you've played snakes and ladders or shoots and ladders. <laughs> and then we have checkers. So pretty standard stuff, guys. We got our wine. And we've never tried either of these wines before, but this one looked like it fit the aesthetic of this trip. <laughs> it says don't poke the bear. And it's a bear. So I thought it kind of fit the aesthetic. And this is all of our food our camping food and we haven't decided yet whether Luke is gonna barbecue or cook over the fire yet. Either way we're gonna have a fire.
So for dinner tonight, I'm having a sandwich, which I made <clears throat> myself, and some sun chips. And <laughs> it's starting to get dark, as you can see. And I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but all the little globes, you can, I guess you can't really tell. All the little globes are starting to kind of glow. As you can kind of see over here too. Yeah, with the light on the inside. I love those globes, they're so pretty. Anyways, such a pretty view. Anyways, we're actually just climbing into bed. Look at this beautiful scenario here. We're climbing into bed, gonna have some dinner. We just played checkers and we're actually just finishing up watching Sons of Anarchy because we are literally t like two or three episodes from the finale, like from the end of the entire show, season seven. So we're just getting that out of the way <laughs> so that we can like not think about it because Luke and I have just been like thinking about it so much we just want to finish it so we're gonna finish it and then we're just gonna chill out we're having some wine and it's such a nice cozy vibe in here I just absolutely love it look at this I absolutely love it Hey, good morning guys. Oh my god, last night was so nice and the electric blanket gave me life. I don't know what I would do without that thing. It was so cold in here, but the fire, Luca had to wake up every like two or three hours to like maintain the fire, but as you can see it's out because I guess after like 6 a.m. we just didn't bother getting up, but <laughs> tomorrow we definitely will because it's cold. Anyway. So the, uh, the electric blanket last night gave me life and I was nice and cozy and toasty and warm under there so thank god for that. But this morning um, I got up and the eclectic cafe that's literally local, that's right next to the Glenora farm, they, they like to deliver some charcuterie boards and lunch boxes to the Glen Oro Cafe. So the link will be down in my description if you want to check her out. Oh my god, she was actually um, on Chopped Canada five years ago. So I'm actually really excited to try this. So she just dropped these off. I have no idea what's inside. So let's open them up and see. So I really want to take some pictures next to the fire and I want to take some definitely with this because this is such a cute material and a blanket so I really want to take advantage of that and take some pictures outside the tent.
Hey guys, so just finished eating breakfast slash lunch, I guess brunch. <laughs> it was so good, Eclectic Cafe, amazing. Go check out my Instagram to see the pictures that I posted of them and this little setup picnic y thing I made in the tent, and it made some really great pictures and Eclectic Cafe. It was so good. We actually have a little bit left, so we're probably gonna eat some of that later. Just like to snack on with some wine. Super good. So now we are gonna go take a little stroll around the property, see if we can find the horsies, and see what else we can find. Take a look at some of these globes, they're so pretty. And uh, yeah, so our fire's going good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Luca's getting some more wood. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Sneaky. Hi. You wanna sleep? So I just got out of the shower. It was so amazing. Look, this is my view right now. Luca is working on the fire. It took a while to get started, but we managed. So, just got out of the shower. I'm super happy that I showered. I was worried because it's so cold and I didn't want to like be cold and wet after a shower, but I'm so happy I did because the shower was so hot, like steaming hot. The whole bathroom got all steamy and it was nice and warm and it was so great. And then I walked out and the fire's going and I just feel so refreshed. And so now we're just gonna sit by the fire and just listen to Fleetwood Mac and yeah, wait till dinner time. It's like a quarter to six. So yeah, that's what's going on right now.
Tuka and I came in from the fire and we're just relaxing, having dinner, and we're just gonna lie in bed, I think. Look at our little setup here. I love the heated blankets, it gives me life. So they actually have a book where all of their um, guests sign. Look at these, there's pictures. Wait, hold on, let's see, yeah, there we go. So I think I'm gonna read a couple of those and maybe sign one myself and just relax and unwind for bed. What do you think, Luca? <laughs> He's loving it here. So yeah. Hey guys, so just woke up. We are currently packing to leave. I'm so sad. I had such a good time here and I can't wait to come back. Guys, they have so many different things here. They have stargazing domes here and I see them actively building other things around the property, so who knows. They have trail rides with horses and all kinds of different things, so make sure you guys check them out. I will put the link in my description and you can go check them out. I just wanna take this time to quickly um, show you guys this merch, my merch, and it's really nice. It actually matches the bedding here, <laughs> but it's super outdoorsy, campy, summer fun, and it has a little like, I think that's an elk. Would you say that's an elk, babe? What? An elk? Uh, or moose? A deer? Moose. Yeah, probably like a deer. <laughs> I'm gonna call this an elk. But these are socks, and I take them whenever I go camping whenever I do anything outdoorsy because they're super cute and also like they match the whole outdoorsy like plaid look so guys check my merch it's in the description down below jessiev.com just look up the Mandy V collection and here they are so and obviously there's a bunch of other things there I have my little alley dog with her alley what are these called scarf Banana with her alley bandana. So go and check all of my merch out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. <laughs> Experiencing it. And just make sure you click that like button. Please click the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Sometimes, you know, the YouTube algorithm is all messed up. So whenever I post, you might not see it. It might not get to you. So make sure you click the bell so that you know whenever I post and click subscribe if you haven't already and go and check out my Instagram as well. I took a lot of crazy photos here and um, yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, bye.